Coinbase tweeted a mysterious blue dot, and we're now finding out what it means. They are launching a layer two solution on top of Ethereum. And this is big. What does it mean? Who are they competing with? And is there an opportunity for you to profit from this news? So Coinbase announced they're launching an L2 on top of Ethereum. Layer two is built on top of a blockchain to make it faster and cheaper. We all know that Ethereum is super expensive and super slow. So we have a ton of these layer two solutions built on top of Ethereum. And some of these you may have heard of Polygon, Immutable X, Optimism, and the list goes on. So now Coinbase has entered the space and they are building what they're calling base on the open source Optimism stack. So because of this news, Optimism pumped. It's currently up 21% because it's being powered by optimism, but we need to clear the confusion. Base is not being built on top of optimism. Instead, the optimism stack is being used. This is the open source code that powers optimism. So to be clear, Coinbase's new product, Base, it's being built on top of Ethereum, not on top of optimism. But we are seeing the optimism token pumping. And I saw this funny tweet, Coinbase launching an L2 powered by optimism, I will simply long OP. However, there still is a connection. It was announced as a chain, Base will commit a portion of transaction fee revenue back to an Optimism Collective treasury. So although Base is not built on top of Optimism, Optimism will still benefit. Actually, in the moment, Coinbase will be competing with these other layer two solutions. Base will be competing with Arbitrum, optimism and this long list of ethereum l2 solutions and at first this might be confusing is coinbase looking to join these other layer twos and work together or are they competing with them well in the end of the day everyone wins why because coinbase has 110 million verified users and if coinbase can onboard all of these new people into the crypto space on ethereum on layer twos all the other L2s win as well. And the layer two narrative is very big. This is one to pay attention to in 2023, but I would say it's more than just a narrative. A narrative is just a story. But when it comes to these layer two solutions, people are actually using them. But a narrative I think is going to be even bigger than layer twos is gaming. And I will be making a video about it soon. So make sure to subscribe to get an update on that video. So it's a win-win, whether Arbitrum ends up being the number one L2 or it's Optimism, or maybe it's Coinbase's base protocol. Okay, let's talk about what you really wanna know. Is Coinbase having a token? Will Coinbase make us rich. Well, Coinbase tweeted, we do not plan to issue a new network token for base and we'll use Ethereum as the native gas token. So Coinbase announced that there is no token and I don't think they will have one in the future because of regulation. The SEC is already going after all of these centralized exchanges. And for Coinbase to release a token, this could be very problematic. I don't think that they'll ever release a token, although I hope I'm wrong. It would be amazing if Coinbase releases a base token. And because of this news, there's a token called Base Protocol that is completely unrelated to Coinbase's base and it pumped 90%. This space is so degenerate sometimes. This coin has nothing to do with Coinbase yet, it pumps. So also be on the lookout for scams. You're probably gonna see people saying, hey, look, Coinbase's new token, there's an airdrop, this is where you could buy it. Be very cautious because right now, as we know, there is no Coinbase token and there likely won't be one in the future. And right now, the only way to invest in Coinbase is through their stock. Coinbase stock is down 63% over the last year. And who knows, are we at the bottom? Are we gonna go further from here? But for now, this is the only way to really invest in Coinbase. And Coinbase is trying to do a lot in the crypto space. They're trying to take over. Look at their product offerings. They have everything for individuals, for businesses, and for developers. And they are working very closely with the regulators to become the people's exchange. Because we all know right now that if you don't follow the rules and you have an exchange in the United States, the SEC will come and crush you. And it makes me wonder, five years from now, will the number one exchange be Coinbase? Binance, or maybe someone else. Comment down below what you think. And not too long ago, the SEC went after Binance's BUSD stablecoin. And then shortly after that, there were rumors that the SEC is going after Coinbase's USDC. 
But we then found out that it was just a rumor. And the journalist who started the rumor tweeted, correction, Circle has not received a Wells notice. And I truly do apologize for the mistake. I strive to get things right, but also want to admit when I'm wrong, I'm sorry. And I've said it before. I think USDC is the government's coin. The government is going to come out with a CBDC, but it's also possible that instead of creating this brand new CBDC that people want to avoid, they may just say, hey, listen, USDC, this is a coin people already use. Let's just make this the stable coin for the United States because the government already has control of USDC. If they tell Circle to freeze USDC, then Circle will do so. But I could be wrong. Maybe in the future, the SEC does go after Coinbase and shuts down many of their products, including USDC. But I really don't see it happening because we saw BlackRock and Fidelity investing $400 million into Circle and USDC. And if BlackRock is involved in a product, you could almost bet it is safe from the regulators. And you know what else BlackRock is investing in? Everything crypto, everything blockchain and Bitcoin. And if you want to know more about it, go ahead and watch this video right here.